Hello guys, Seb back at the shop. And uh, we're using uh, Keith Black uh, Pistons. We've got our Hastings rings here. And you can see, I've uh, filed all these top rings, are 28 thousandths for this bore size. Nice and straight, nice and straight, nice and straight. There you go. There you go. Anyways, important step on these uh, Keith Black high protected pistons. Uh, you uh, must uh, make sure these are the Keith Black. You can see where that big groove is. It's unique to these pistons. These are uh, single valve relief. For a 440, 30 over 440, 4354. Another thing I wanted to tell you, uh, I don't always do this, but uh, let's see if I can hold this still. Work. You can see I ground on that one side, it's nice and straight. Hard to do this. There you go. And then I beveled that. But what I did, I only ground on, uh, let's see if I can set this. I only ground on one side there. The other side has not been touched. You guys doing race motors, uh, and especially, um, you guys doing race motors, especially the guys with uh, Boost or Nitrous. If you gap one side of your rings, then in the event you pull your motor down and you're doing an inspection or ring check, you can see if those rings butted. And because you, you know that when you did it, you only ground one side. So uh, that's one little tip that you can see if your rings are too tight. Uh, if they butt and you know that you only ground one side, you know that you need to take a little more off the rings. Just wanted to share that with you. Okay, our minimum is 28. There you go. Whoops. I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay. Nice straight gaps. Okay, let's get them on the pistons. <laughs> 